Hi, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me on the banks of Village Pool and we're in search of silvers using casters and hemp. So before we get into this week's blog, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supports the channel, leaves the nice comments on the videos. It really is a pleasure to log in, reply to the comments and hear how you guys are getting on. To those people who are new to the channel, my name's Danny and every Friday at six o'clock we put a new fishing video on the channel. So if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button and if you do enjoy the video please leave it a like so today you do join me on the bank on my birthday and every year they do take leave on that day to go out fishing now normally i hit the banks of the river for pike but conditions recently have been horrendous we're in the middle of a storm or just the tail end of it and the rivers are swollen high and yeah today i've decided to come to a venue that as you can see quite a lot of cover Hopefully it means we won't get a lot of that wind and fingers crossed none of the trees come down because that is a risk isn't it But hopefully today we can get a few fish on the bank So that is the swim we're going to be fishing today and what a beautiful backdrop It's amazing that some of these trees are still clinging onto the leaves given how strong those winds have been But yeah, this pool It's just a beautiful place to wet a line there's been one or two fish topping some roach. Mr. Carp has rolled right down there, so he is awake a bit. But it is a beautiful place to wet a line. Now, I did try and come on here the other week and target the fish using bread. And as you can see on screen now, it didn't go too well. Halfway through the session, the snow come in. So that session was a week ago. And since then, the temperatures have been quite steady. You know, regularly six degrees. I have seen one or two fish top, so fingers crossed we can get a couple of bites. Looking at the side tray, nice and simple tactics. Got some casters that I've turned myself, and it's been a couple of years since I've done it, so I'm quite proud of them. They all look nice, and um, we've got some Cheshire particle hemp, and that is the only bait on the side tray. I've purposely left the maggots at home, so you're not tempted to try them. We're going to try and target those quality fish today. You know, some nice roach and yeah hopefully they're the bait to do it now if you want me to do a video on the channel on turning casters i can show you the way i do it if you leave it in the comments below if that's something you want to see we can do one of them in the future looking at the swim line myself up actually with that crow's nest now he does move about a bit but generally stays as a good marker i'm a fishing just in this dark water here so as is normally the case when you're doing the intro, it's nice and calm. You get your pole out, <laughs> it starts picking up with the wind. Just gonna start off with a few casters and a bit of hemp over the top of that initial feed. Just gonna sit over the top. I've got the float dotted right down and a bulk is gonna make sure it goes straight down and we're fishing in them lower layers. That's how we're gonna start. I have got another rig set up and that is a more you know finesse rig with the bulk spread up the line so you get a slower fall but at the start I'm just gonna start off nice and positive with the bulk and sit over that hemp and the caster as you can see mr rain's come in and that is a good part of having casters really you don't need to cover them up or the hemp because they are in water anyway There we go, there's the first bite, which only a small fish, but it's a nice quick bite. And a roach. So he is cold, but a good start to get a bite so quickly. So only a small fish, but a confidence boosting one. He is a bit cold, but to get a bite so quickly is a good sign. At the start of the session, I'm not too concerned about the size of the fish. I know the caster over the session will pick out the better quality ones, but to get a bite so quickly, really good. Today I'm completely burying the hook in the caster. I don't see the point of having a bait where you can hide the hook and not taking advantage of it. It's how I was always taught, and that's how I'm fishing it today. That hook completely encased in the caster. Feeding a little pinch of hemp 
and a few casters each cast just enough to keep some bait in the swim and it's ticking over so straight back out there just using that cad pot to go straight over the top and then just lowering the baiting over the top I have put the brolly up so apologies if the vlog is dark but yeah there's no point having it in the back is there and not using it there you go there's a bite straight away but there's only one thing I hate more than not fishing and that really is fishing underneath a brolly I really don't like it you'll see me on the channel getting wet a lot of the time but that's a really quick bite that as you saw straight in the bulk settled and we had a bite straight away as you can see there a slightly better quality one than the first and yeah a nice positive start just going to feed that same little bit of bait over the top again and just keep going and just see if we can keep getting bites so no rush today about the fishing it's just about taking your time making the most of the qualities of the pole which is the accuracy you know you're right over the top of your bait there you see this rain probably isn't going to go anywhere today and just dropping in over the top and then a bite straight away now the only downside with caster is you do only get one shot normally you no know, it's a one bite bait and when they have it though the bites can be really positive but that is the only downside of it you know with a maggot you might get two or three chances with a caster generally you get one chance so just taking me time i don't want to really spill any of the bait on the way out just turning that pot over feeding that little bit of casters and hemp and then dropping that rig right on the top i've picked purposely the darker water on the peg it's going to help me see the float when it's dotted right down there we go it's exactly how you want it to go just holding that caster as it falls as soon as it settles you get the bite and like anyone will say the rain and the weather doesn't really bother you when you're catching <laughs> it's when you're not catching and you're sat in it you notice it more but the third roach of the day and there we go roach number three and really made up with how it's gone you know you've watched it on the gopro there as soon as that float settled we've got the bite just lift it give that bait a bit of movement because caster is a still bait that little bit of movement might just make a fish notice it there we go and the caster just spat up the line finally hooked and that is a bit more of what we come for an excellent start to the session It has slowed off a lot after that initial good start and that's why you've just got to be careful with how you feed because you know you can easily get carried away in them early bites what you're catching are the fish that are in the area normally and it's the first better quality one it's been about maybe an hour two hours fishing that is worth all the effort getting out today there's a lovely roach and like i said there you can ruin it at the start once it's in you can't take it out is the old famous saying isn't it and it's true but by just going little and often you can just pick up bites steady and i'd much prefer to be picking bites up steady than have an hour of loads of bites and then no bites the rest of the day sometimes it's just about going out and getting a few bites 
and that's what fishing is about and I think sometimes you know in the world we live with social media and all that that does get lost you know just going out to get a few bites seems to be lost in fishing if a carp's not 20 pound it's not worth having if a pike's not 20 pound it's not worth going for fishing would be in a much better place if people just enjoyed going for a few bites and just enjoyed fishing and hopefully this channel does show that you know it's about enjoying your fishing and just going fishing enjoying it the gopro has packed up the battery's died completely if anyone else is having problems with theirs let me know in the comments below i have had a few times now where it's gone from 50 percent to just dead so we'll get this one in and take a look and look at the lovely colors on that roach it's almost copper in its gill cover and yeah if you are having problems with the gopro just leave it in the comments below if you've had the same thing if you do a channel it'd be great to hear what you guys are using if you've upgraded and enjoyed the new one let me know and i'll see about picking up another and that presentation change just seems to have worked that strung out shot and as soon as it's settled the float buried not on the drop just as it's getting in them bottom layers a lovely little roach see that hue in the top of it great fun amazing what a change can make the bites a lot more positive so after that half an hour that you get on every session where it all goes wrong i've got stuck on the bottom stuck on my net lost a hook link tangled around the top of the pole it does seem on every session you get that half an hour don't you you've just got to take a step back take a breath and just compose yourself a bit gone straight back in and probably the best one of the session so far it's definitely a roach but definitely that lighter presentation is working well and that fish there definitely makes the effort worthwhile it's exactly what we've come for it's a cracking fish that and most definitely a caster fish and the quality fish we come for and the very next cast another lovely roach and that is what i was saying earlier on just our session can turn round, and you've got to wait for them better quality fish to move in but that's the second one in two casts and it's a lovely fish that There's definitely one or two of these quality fish arrive now in the swim and it's taken till towards the end of the session really but by just drip feeding that bait in and not ruining it at the start you know you can give yourself a chance as the session goes on coming towards the end of the session on the caster feeding the hemp it's a lovely fish and as the session's going on we're definitely building up a bit of momentum now getting regular bites and obviously as you're getting more bites you're putting more feed in and attracting more fish in but definitely in the last half an hour it's picked up so towards the end of the session now these better fish have moved in i'm actually feeding less than i did at the start sometimes i'm not putting any bait in and that's because the fish are there now and you're not here to feed them you're here to catch them once they're there you don't need to keep piling the bait in every single caster or bit of hemp you put in is one less that they're going to find at yours you see that's another quality roach and you really can't beat caster for quality and i say that's coming over hardly any feed now i've really cut back on the feeding these fish are there and we're getting plenty of bites December and a bite of chalk and this does feel like a decent fish and it really has been great fun so what I'm going to do now the last half an hour of the session it's my birthday I'm going to put the camera down for a bit and barring us getting any of them nice ones again I'll see you at the end of the session and the very next cast after saying that I'll go in and get this roach and what a lovely fish it is I had great fun today on my birthday really have let's get it straight back
the last bit of the session I had plenty of bites and really enjoyed myself it was one of those days where you just didn't want to pack in but unfortunately the school run beckons and it is time to call it a day as you can see on screen now I had a fantastic day's fishing with those casters and hemp plenty of bites and quality as well so today really was one of those sessions where I didn't want to pack in one last cast one last cast and yeah I'm now going to be rushing home in the past couple of weeks I have been putting videos on the channel trying to show that winter isn't the end of fishing you know you can get out there pick your right moments and even if you don't like the really cold frosty days days like today you can get out there and get a bite it's all about picking those windows of opportunity when conditions are good to get out there and get one or two bites i've really enjoyed today and i hope you've enjoyed coming along on the video i want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing if you have enjoyed the video please leave it a like and subscribe and i'll catch you all next week tight lines